Hey y'all, what's going on? I'm Jane and this is my channel. So today, as you can tell by the title, we are starting something new and it is... What's in the box? What's in the vault? What is it? So, um, I got this coated vault for Christmas from my brother and I decided I want to use it. Um, so I had my mom go through my crate o makeup, which is all new products that I have, and choose some things and put them in here. To be fair though, I did... I had to kind of help her a little bit. She doesn't know too much about makeup. Um, and I also put some things in here myself, mainly base products that I really, really wanted to try. So that's that. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna see what's in the uh, what's in the box? What's in the vault, man? What's in the vault? Yeah. If you can hear stuff in the back, my brother just came home from New Year's Eve with all his friends. So they're upstairs playing around jerking around, being their happy New Year's selves, <laughs> and I have some music playing, so yeah. Um, so let's see what's in here. I'm going to turn the music down. It's always so much harder to do with nails than I always ever expected to be. Alright. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to start with some stuff that I picked. One of them is... I don't want to do this. I'll show you everything I guess. So base wise, the first thing I chose was the NYX white eyeshadow base. I got it for Halloween, still haven't used it, so I'm forcing myself to use it today. Um, primer wise, I got this at TJ Maxx for $5.99. This is the um, Algenis Reveal Color Correcting Radiant Primer. I swatched this when I bought it, and um, it looks like I fake tanned in my hand, so I'm terrified. Um, that's okay. If I have to take it off, that's okay. I also chose the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. This is in number 10 porcelain. Um, I got this guy on sale at uh, Target. Then we have the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in number 5 Fair. Just because I hear so many good things about it and I'm always bound to try a new powder. And the last thing I chose is the EVH Amrezy highlighter. I got this for Christmas and I'm stoked to use it. I still haven't. Um, I've been hesitant because it's so gorgeous and I'm just like... <laughs> um, so we'll use her today. So the thing my mom chose was first this Clara uh, Cosmetics Meraki palette. This is an Australian brand, hence the name Meraki. It's a, um, American? I don't know. Um, yeah. Sorry. I'm, I'm second guessing myself. I've heard Shanek though say that place before, so whatever. But one, can we talk about the cover art on this? This is gorgeous. I love it. So this is an Australian name. Australian owned brand. And like I said, I got this palette at Marshalls for $12.99. I've seen their stuff there before, but I've never taken a bunch because I've never known. Um, this is what the palette looks like. I like that the design that was on the box is actually on the palette. It's gorgeous. And this. This is what she looks like. She's so pretty. This whole, whole row here is all shimmers as well as this row here, but these are more chunky than these look, like, looks wise. So I think we have a pretty good mirror. So I think this top row is going to be a little bit um, more shimmerier than this bottom row, but I'm living. Like, I think these colors are gorgeous. Okay. We have this. And then she also grabbed me this, this is the LA Splash um, 
Pro Artist Waterproof Body Art Liner in Silver Halo. Just a silver liner. I, they have a gold one, and I know I took it and just kind of like whisked it over whatever I was wearing one day, and it was gorgeous. So we'll see what I do with that. And then also, this Smoke and Mirrors Glitter Shadow in this really pink, pretty pink color. So I think this might go down first for the lid color. And then I'll put something on top of it. Alright, I can work with this. I can work with this. And that, besides those silk packs, is all that is in the vault today. So, let me put her over here, and we can get started. Actually, before I start anything, I'm going to spritz my face with some Smashbox Photo Focus Primer Water. Photo Finish Primer Water, I swear. There we go. Alright, so the NYX Eye Lace, she just looks like this. I'm going to take... I put nails on yesterday, one, they're so cute, but I can't really like dig in here, so I'm going to take this little Real Technique sponge, and, oh jeez, and see I understand the point of a white face, but like, much I think. Especially because I always set my um, face with like flesh tone color. Alright. Now that I feel crazy. I'm gonna put a lid on this before I dry it out. And then I am gonna set this like I, I can't not so Oh good, this holds back. Ish. Well, so we're gonna dip into this shade here. It's not white. It's a little. It's got a little bit of color to it. I gotta get my color switch over here. Hold on. I not got off color switch. All right. I'm gonna take a little Wet n Wild brush. Um, she's dirty because I use her literally every day for this to get some powder in that my base. Like I understand like with a white base you're supposed to kind of leave it and then it'll help the pigmentation of your colors but like no. I can't. My lens are too oily to ever consider that. I feel like this base was really um, emollient, <laughs> and maybe I put too much on, but I can't really, like I can't particularly change that right now. So how's everybody's new year so far? Well, I've never seen my name so blanked out in my life. Crap, man. I feel like you can see all the texture of my skin. How's everybody's new year so far? I mean, I'm playing with makeup my first day of the new year, so I'm living my best life. Trying to take the color off of this one handed. I'm gonna dip into this shade right here as my transition-y shade. Oh, pigmentation. Where are we gonna start? I always tap and then sweep. And I'm doing it above my crease. Because I find if I do it in my crease, you, you'll never see any of my work if I do that because my eyes are so hooded. Yeah, what's everybody's plans for this new year? Does anybody have any new year's resolutions they want to chat about? I want to make them. I didn't last year. But I kind of want to this year, but at the same time I feel like... Or I heard somewhere that if you tell somebody that you're going to do X, Y, or Z, then their affirmation of being like, Oh, that's so great! 
is already like in your mind like haha check mark done and you never really keep up with it and you end up failing essentially and i'm not about that so even if i get them i think i'll probably keep them to myself although one that i can share this is against exactly what i just said um i'm gonna try and give up slash cut back on photos Um, so I'm just gonna make the shade and I'm gonna take a mix of this with the orangey brown and the pink next to it and put that more in my cream. I'm gonna use a Morphe um, M505 to do this and the brush I used earlier is an Elf Flawless Cream. Oh, flawless. Brush. I find with my eye shape, those are really great to get um, that first brown color down that we did. Otherwise, it's just You have to be careful when you mix shades, by the way, to not end up with like too much of one shade on one side and not enough of the other on the other side. <laughs> there was quite a bit of <clears throat> fallout on that. Which now I'm gonna take just straight pink. Put it in that as well, just to get a little bit more pinky. Oh, so they're talking in the roll so they're very thin. Okay. So far, so, mm -hmm. I'm gonna take that first brush we used and just kind of lay it over top of it all. And so I'm going to do that and Now I'm going to take a smaller brush. This is one of my favorites for this brush. This is from the brand PS and it's a brand that they Primark. And it's the number 236 brush. It's a little, little baby blender brush. And I'm going to go in... <sighs> Can I... Hold on. I'm going to talk a little bit about the one. I'm going to take this on your cashew brush, it's literally one of my favorite blending brushes. I'm going to dip into that lilac purple. I'm just going to put that in there as well. Hmm. I like that. It made everything a little bit pinker, almost like brown, more pink. Now we're gonna go in with this little baby brush. And I'm gonna take the dark brown that's next to that purple and put it on the outer edge and work it just a little bit into there. So I'm gonna kind of add it on The first week of the new year. This week, Jesus, I don't know what I'm doing this week, but I know today I'm gonna go to Marshall and get more makeup. Big shock, I know. Can't really see with the dark spot. Just kind of deepen the outer edge a little bit. 
kind of all the same tonality. It's not as dark as I was expecting. <clears throat> but I'm okay with it actually. Um, so, but today, I'm gonna go to Marshall's and then I have to go to Walmart and pick up some sort of pork um, for dinner tonight. On the first day of the year, you're supposed to have pork. So that's what I'm doing. And what else am I doing? Um, oh, I'm gonna have to go to Lowe's and, um, oh, the hinge for our, we have this glass door in front of our door door, and the hinge for it busted one day, like, there was this wicked wind and it just ripped it, so I should go pick up a new one. So I'm gonna take these Smoke and Mirrors pink shadow and this Wet n Wild brush, and I'm gonna put them here on the lid, just like that, and I'm gonna take the brush and blend it out on my lid. Kind of doing a cut crease with it, but not really that intentional with it. I blended it a little farther into the brown that we placed down than I wanted, so it's okay. I'm gonna try and get my eyes kind of low, so I don't have any transfer. Um, that's something <clears throat> you wanna be careful about if you have put it in. If you put something wet on your lid, you kind of Keep your eyes low, keep looking down at yourself in your mirror at an angle so you don't crease everything. I'm just gonna work with the process and move it out. Okay, I'm gonna go too far on the other eyes, I'm gonna just take those eyes and match. So you really have the shadow going. Yeah, it seems to be a good shadow going the whole length of your lid. Just mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna fan my eyes just to make them chill, just to kind of light up. Hit it. I'm gonna take this lighter um, and two purple shimmers down the end. And once it's dry, I'm gonna kind of pat it on the outer third of my lid. We're gonna see what that does. Alright. I'm gonna take my ring finger. Not really in the pocket or something, but it's really pretty. I'm just putting on the outer edge here. A little extra dimension. Kind of right over where we put that brown shade. Another good thing about these color switches, you can take whatever finger you have sh had shadow on and you know, just turn off the date. Alright, so <sighs> that's as far as we're gonna go right now. Um, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with the silver glitter yet. We'll get there. Um, and I'm gonna zoom those out so we can walk focus. Focus on the light that I have to say so far I'm loving this look. I like I'm just diving through this little hint of purple up there. It's so pretty. Um, alright. Here we go. So this is supposed to be in the shade Universal. But it's a color correcting primer. And it has these little color correcting beads in them. Otherwise, it's white. So. And the beads kind of explode. And face I was already darker than the feet. 
I feel like they put too many red and like yellow in that kind of... Yeah, there's red, green, blue, and gold. And I feel like they put too many red and gold in this. So I'm just hoping the foundation is not right there, because... I feel like I went into this one with a bad attitude and I'm sorry, but like... Come on. I swear, it like... Fingers are like a play with big canner. Okay. Alright, we're gonna take a little bit of the milk on blur stick and just kind of blur out my pore areas. And I heard someone say, you mentioned, like, don't put purple filling primers on your nose, because that's what makes them, like, fall up and stuff. I need to put it on the side of my nose, because my stick, because my nose has pores. But other than that, chill with it. Because it helps your like foundation to not settle right and to fall apart and stuff. So, all right. So now we're gonna dip into the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. This is in shade Ten Porcelain. Um, I already took the thing off it. Here we go. Mirror cushion. I'm gonna use the Elf sponge. This is the one that like looks really porous. Are you really curious about this? It's really good. Roll it up. I really like the L'Oreal one, which I'm in the one. I kinda like this one too. Oh, I'm gonna cover a couple of little half of my face. I'm going to take just a nail probably too much. I'm going to start tattooing this. I feel like with so many foundations I have to go completely down the neck. My neck is just so empty. It doesn't matter what I do, I have to go all the way down my neck. And even that, I'm like, my hair is just so much paler than my face right there. Mm. Alright. <clears throat> Don't forget your ears. I think it's called neck. Um, I like that. I don't like really full coverage foundation. They don't work for me. But I like this, I like that my skin feels like it can breathe and like everything is good for that. Alright. So far so good. I don't know why, but these guys are always in the key things. They live in their compact. So concealer, I didn't have a new one, so we're gonna use the Catrice Liquid Camouflage in number 10 special one. No, just do one eye at a time. Pretty much all my concealers. I'm also gonna kinda use the clean up the outer edge of our eye look, but not by much. I'm just going to say, and this one really is nice. Like, I, if you're hesitant about this, get it. You kind of have to work with your nose, but after a second, it really does just settle so beautifully. And it looks like skin, like, 
more so than I think from other blender sponges do. So I'm living. All right, we're gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me. I've only heard good things about this, so I hope I like it. <clears throat> the only blue part that I really love is the Cat Von D one, the um her locket translucent and petal. Perfect. Okay, so I just shook it one, not a lot. I mean, a decent amount, you know, but not so much that I'm like, oh my god. I'm gonna find my brushes again. I changed everything, so I'm like, who's this? Where's that? Alright. I'm gonna take this brush here. I'm gonna bring you cash up one, it's just like a, a, a pyramid one. Okay. That was really smooth. Um, so I'm gonna own you But I find that, um, but, um, I don't know, lately I've been okay, so I stopped setting my whole face. I feel like that's probably what, I really like that hat clip. You can put it on and do the clip. And now you know. It's just closed. Love that. Um, Oh, but yeah, the only thing I said is my under eye. And it feels good, and it looks good. It looks... Mm -hmm. good. So... I'm okay with it. Um, bronzer... I'm just gonna use this one. This is from Crop. Um, and it's their Soft Focus Bronzer, bronzer in Solar. I'm gonna take... This one I've been loving. This is a Moda brush. Um, Moda is a branch of Royal Manifold. This is a contour brush, the BMB 120 from the And like my cheekbones here, my cheekbones are here. Or whatever. Like, that hollow right here, here, I go up above it. I don't bronze it too much. I feel like this is too weird. I'm so pale that I don't need to bond it too much. Like, everybody's pale. So, I do, like, extreme bonding. Look at this one. Don't be changing to see my bronze around Kimbo, but she's there. Working. I feel like also a lot of people go like, ham with bronzer. And it's like, mm, but why? I'm gonna just give myself a bronzer helmet, damn it. That's also why I'm pretty careful because I'm so really like I will go I go too crazy sometimes. But it's okay, if you go too crazy. You take a fluffy brush and you can just blend it. Oh, you know what else? If you don't set your foundation with me, when you go in, if you pat first and then blend, it really helps. That's pretty good. So for blush, I'm just going to go in with like this over the cake blush. This is in the shade Fetish. She's just a pretty soft, kind of blue thing. Um, just kind of what we're dealing with here. And I'm going to take another motor brush. This is the uh, multi-purpose powder brush. This is uh, the BD EMD. If you want to make sure you don't get too much powder, you can like, wipe it on your hand with your eye ring. I know Tati um, can burn my food does that too. So, let's pick them up. God, this blush is just so pretty. Okay. 
let me talk on a quick route. Let me take my Cabral and another motor brush. This is the angled brown lash brush. There's something about the way this brush is. The actual brush itself that just makes doing my brows so much easier. So I'm going to start, I don't start right at the front, I'm going to start right behind the front of my brow. Something about this brush really just runs the product through the brow so beautifully and holds my brows in place. And then the next one I can just, whatever is left really, I'm going through the rest of my brow. Just gonna flick it upwards. Cover the brow hairs. So we're happy. And then there you go. One more, no more. And so how I I just kind of dipped it two or three times. I take, I kind of run the sides of the brush and then poke it in my hand twice. Make sure I had not too much product here. I'm just right there. I need to do my brows. Clean them up and stuff. Because this one, she's looking at the E. Perfect. Alright. So, I think just for the lower lash line, I'm just going to take this brush that we did the brown and pink on. And take the pink and the touch of that brown. We're gonna take this guy and be really flipping careful. And we're gonna and we're just gonna do a little bit. And this also takes a little bit to dry. Okay. So for highlight, I think if I went with the Amrazy one, it's just too gold. So I'm gonna go with right. So the Amrazy is just a little too gold. Um, so I'm gonna go with the Maybelline Master Chrome and the 250. This is a little this one you can only get at Ulta, it's the Nikki Tutorials one. Really pretty. I need to get, I need to get these guys before I start closing them. Yeah. Good. Hello there. We're going to take the Ulta Pink setting brush. I'm going to use as a hand brush. So I'm gonna take the Real Techniques Smudger Brush. I'm gonna get, I use this brush for this all the time, and I'm gonna get the excess off. Alright, we're gonna dip back into that highlight. Go under the brow bone. And then we're gonna go in the inner corner. I'm gonna bring it down right under that cute up area. Okay. Good. Good, good. Alright, so before we move on, I'm going to set the base with the Urban K on um, Nighter Spray. I love this stuff. And then it runs out, I'm gonna move on another. Maybe we can make it. Find some other way to see. Okay, I'm gonna put on liner, lashes, and be right back to do lips with you guys. I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution liner, which one? It's really called like the Renaissance liner or something, I don't know. And tart mani do it, and then I'll come back and tell you what lashes I put on. Okay. Okay, so. That took a lot longer than expected. Of course. 
Um, lashes are the Kiss Blowout Lashes in Pompadour. I love them. They're so long. I feel like really... What? Very, very... Things I didn't feel in high school. So. Lip. I'm thinking this one. I might... I want to see what this one looks like. This is the CoverGirl and Katy Perry Club in Spank. Nope, not pink enough. Pretty though. Really, really I'm gonna use something that I used just a little bit ago. My mom's vacuuming now. Nice. Um, this is the Urban K Vice Liquid Lipstick in Back Talk. Maybe. Okay, so that's that then. And we'll do a quick overview on the product I'm using so far, and then I'll do one later when I come home. At the end of the day. All right. So, um, again, if you can hear stuff, I've got people over. Um, this is what we are looking like at the end of the day. I'm gonna zoom you guys closer. Um, I just took my glasses off. I didn't have the glasses marks. So what you do. I do this with every foundation. Like, this happens with every foundation. My glasses just fell away, so I just go back over it with my sponge. Um, but yeah, so let me hug you closer and we'll evaluate the new stuff. Okay, you're real close to me. We're just gonna deal with this. Um, let me leave this by thumb. Alright, so foundation wise, it's doing the little creasing under my nostrils and I have zit right there, which I'm not gonna put on foundation or anything. But um, but otherwise, it held up really beautifully throughout the day. It's not taking. It's not grabbing. It didn't, you know, settle in my smile lines or anything. Um. So yeah, I like this. The cushion can stay. Um. I'd say the powder did a very good job in the under eye and keeping it that way. It didn't let it crease. So, good stuff. She can stay. They earned their rent. So, the base. The NYX eye base. I don't know if you can tell, but right in that crease area, it's a... Uh, it kind of... separated. And to be fair, I've had this on for eight-ish hours, but it should have been able to last longer than that. And it won't even blend out now either. So, that's, that's an issue. To be fair though, when I do have stuff on for longer, for longer than normal, this happens. And I've got way to live. It is what it is. So, I don't know if I'd reach for this again though, probably just for a more colorful look. You know. Um, the, sh the palette itself was beautiful. It still looks beautiful besides that bald area in there. I want to attribute that bald area though to the base and my own lids. But this was gorgeous. Oh, if you guys find this palette, in TJ Maxx, Marshall, Burlington, wherever you shop, even hell if you're in Australia, and you get it. It's beautiful, and I really enjoyed it. The purple on the outer edge held up really well throughout the day. I'm happy about that. The pink that we put on, the smoke and mirrors, held up really well as well. I really like how that looks. Yeah. And of course, glitter stayed put. I didn't have any fallout throughout the day. None of that um, with any of this. It all stayed in place beautifully. So I say we're good. Oh, the primer. <sighs> when I take this off, I'll see if like my face is stained. 
my hands aren't, so that's a plus. But like, I don't know. I ha this is one of the things I have to play with more. I think I retract my statement about the foundation that's sticking to dry patches because right in here seems a little dry to me. A little, little alligatory, but nowhere else. So that's good. Nowhere else. So that's good. Um, primer I'm gonna have to test again. Um, but everything else I was really, really happy with. I think the base I'll have to test again too. Um, probably tomorrow actually. So I was talking to my mom and she's like, oh, you, you didn't go blue. Because we've been talking about like peacock stuff earlier. So I'm going to probably use some of these blue toned shadows tomorrow. But I'm really happy with today's look. And I'm really happy with these palettes, these products. Everything I used. <laughs> So, uh, let me zoom you out real quick, and I think you know what. Alright, so that is everything I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a great year. And yeah, if you liked the video, hit that big old red like button. Big old red thumbs up. Is it red? Hit the thumbs up. Uh, while you're down there, you can hit that big old red subscribe button and that bell next to it so you guys can be notified whenever I post a new video if you like me enough to do so. Alright, bye guys.